Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today I want to talk a little bit about chord progressions. We've talked in the past about chords in the key. So we learned that in the key of C, there are certain chords that go together. Actually, all of the notes from all of those chords belong to the same major scale, the parent major scale of the key. So in the key of C, we had C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, and the B diminished, which we just don't talk about much, the, the run to the family. Uh, and it's really helpful to number the chords. So C would be chord one, first chord in the key. D minor is chord two. E minor is chord three. F major is chord four. G major is chord five. And A minor is chord six. Now, since music has evolved, there have become certain chord progressions that people use a lot that sound really good. It's the reason they get chosen a lot. It's not like some formula that you have to stick to, but they're just really effective tools. Now, as part of this course, I want to do a little introduction to songwriting. And with songwriting, you don't need to stick to a set chord progression. You can really go completely freeform and choose whatever chords you like. In fact, some of the best songs don't use chords that are in the same key. They use and weird combinations of chords, unexpected combinations of chords, that can be really beautiful. But when you're first starting out trying to write a tune, it can be helpful to have a kind of a starting point, something just to just to give you a, something to get going on. And some chord progressions, common chord progressions, you might find really helpful for that. So it's definitely worth studying them for that reason. It's also really helpful when you start learning songs on your own, when you can hear a song you go, oh, that chord progression sounds familiar because when you've practiced them, they will start to become familiar. You'll hear a song on the radio and think, those, those chords sound familiar, that movement. Even if you don't know exactly what the chords are, like what key it's in, you'll start to recognize the movements of the chords and that can be a really valuable thing as well. So what I thought I'd do is just pick five very common chord progressions, talk you through what they are, and then at some point during the before next lesson, have a go at practicing them and playing through them and see if you can recognize some songs that use each one of the chord progressions. Okay, just a few, just see, experiment, play them, you know, slowly, fast, you know, with, with the changes happening quite frequently or not happening very frequently, you know, a couple of bars on each chord. Experiment, just, I just want you to open up this little box and go, oh, there's such a thing as chord progressions. Here's some popular ones. I might start to recognize these sounds or I might want to use them for songwriting or if I'm jamming with my friend and he's going to improvise using the C major scale, these would be wonderful chord progressions to do. Okay, so if you've got a jam buddy, don't be using my back and track. If you've got somebody to jam with, jam with a real human. One person plays one of the chord progressions and the other person improvises. The beauty of doing it using a set chord progression rather than just any old chords is that the person who's improvising can start to imagine the chord that's coming up and find a melody that will go good with it. That's kind of how it works. As you progress and you get better at improvising, your ear can kind of guide you into the right note that will fit with the chords that are coming up. You can kind of anticipate what it's going to sound like. That is unlikely to happen in the early days of, of playing, but for sure you can, uh, you can aspire to having that happen. The first progression I want to mention is the 1, 5, 6, 4 sequence. Very, very common chord progression in pop music. So many pop hits use this, and this is the one that they use for the axis of awesome four chords thing. Uh, in the key of C, which is what I'd recommend that you stick with for now, it would be C, G, A minor, to F. Okay, C, G, A minor, to F. If I'm playing that, can you imagine a song that uses that? Can you sing a, a song that you know, a pop song, over the top? There are hundreds that you could be doing, you know, that you could, that melodies that fit over that chord progression. Lovely one to improvise over, great one if you want to get into a little bit of songwriting, experimenting later on down the way. Definitely worth exploring a little bit. Next one I want to give you is the 6, 4, 1, 5. Okay, so chord 6 was A minor to uh, 4, which was the F chord, 
C, which is the 1, to the 5, which is the G. So 6, 4, 1, 5. Again, really, really common chord sequence. Lots and lots of songs that will fit with that. I want you to think about the songs when you pop them in the comments on the website. Okay? Just leave the if you find songs that use the specific uh, chord progressions, let us know in the comments. Let's see who gets the easy ones first. There's a few low hanging fruit that you're going to know, but let's see if, what else we can find. I'm sure we can collectively find a ton of songs that use these chord sequences. Next chord sequence that we've got is the 1-4-5-4 four, four sequence. Again, very, very, very common sequence would be C, F, G, F. Super, super common. Uh, of course, we use the one, four, five chords in a different sequence for things like the blues, but this isn't a blues. This is a set chord progression, one, four, five, four. There are no rules. If you're writing, you could try something different too. That works as well. Okay, next chord progression, one, six, four, five, which would be C, A minor, F, G. play it lots of different ways. I'm just trying to change the feel up a little bit so you get the idea. But You don't have to set play a set thing, a set feel, set time. You could even experiment with playing in 6-8 if you want to have a go at doing that. The idea is just to get used to what this, these chord sequences sound like. Last one we're going to check out uses a different chord, which is the 2 chord. So we're going to have 2, 5, 1, 6. Okay, chord two in the key of C was D minor, five is G, one is C, six is A minor. So we have this, D minor, G, C, A minor. Again, D minor, G, C, A minor. Experiment. See what you can come up with. There's some chord progressions. These are, I think, probably the most common five chord progressions around. But there are other. There are many others, and it depends on the genre and the style that you want to play and all of that. But the the purpose of this lesson is just to open a new box for you for you and go. Songs use chord progressions. Some are very specific for a specific song. Others are very commonly used over many songs. They're all worth learning. By learning the standard and common chord sequences is really good for your ear if you're trying to work out a song on your own or trying to guess how a song goes in your ear. And it's also a really good starting point if you want to get into songwriting. So there's lots and lots of great things about learning and exploring chord progressions.